I can show a short field. Yeah, this, I guess if you walk through it. I'll walk through it. Yeah, show me a proper one, I guess. Okay, so before we take off checklist, both in, full, car beats in, pulse light is going to come on here in a second. Both, both in and locked. We're going to get off the runway. And I'll just, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll take off. All right, he's turning off. Cool. And nobody's there. Oh, good. Pierce County Traffic says no one, two, nine, four, Fox, try taking off runway three, five, left, close, Pierce. Lights, camera, alt, action, fuel, flaps, whatever the hell I want it to be. All right. This is where I surprise you with something crazy. Oh, God, and don't. Not empty. <laughs> <either. laughs> I'll just keep going straight right here. <laughs> Full power. Watch these turns. Make sure they're not too sharp. Make sure they don't have any torque kind of pushing you over. Be taxiing with the wind correction. We don't really need it. Get out here. Full power. Everything's coming forward. Green, green. Airspeed is coming alive. Looking way down the runway. Hand on the throttle. Building back pressure right now to keep that weight on the rear wheels. Going to take off here about 55. I'm not forcing it off. I'm just letting it come off. And now I'm going to touch my nose to the top of the trees okay. by cowling there. And I can relieve any pressure if I need to. Checking my airspeed, I'm going 70. If I'd lost a cylinder or something like that, then I might have the same noise, but I'm not getting the same power. So I'm just checking for that. Gotcha. I'll trim that down about two, which is where I usually leave it. Hands are off, pretty much. I'm just doing the bank. I don't have to push forward and hold it there. I'm now using downtown Seattle probably as my aiming point, or I'm keeping the mountain right there in line with this. Yeah. Just something to keep me straight. I can look over my shoulder back at the runway, and I can see that I'm in line. I use this road over here, and I use that road over there to kind of keep myself going straight up the middle. Okay. The reason I care about that is if I'm at Boeing. They're going to have dual runways, and the controller's going to start to bitch at me. <laughs> 200 feet to go. Looking for my base turn. That's going to be 300 feet below the pattern altitude. Looking for traffic coming straight in the downwind. I'm looking for people coming in the 45. There we go. I'm going to lead this turn with a little bit of left as I turn left. And it's light amount of left to keep the ball centered. I'm keeping my nose up and it's kind of touching the horizon as I come around so I keep this climb going. There is traffic right there. I have him in sight. Yep, got I'm going to make a call. Pierce County Traffic, just a one, two, nine, four, Fox, right, left crosswind for turning for the downwind for three, five, Pierce. Uh, Pierce County Traffic, RV 7-0, Victor is left downwind for three, five, Pierce. Oh. Okay, so we're going to have to turn out this way and we'll hold oh. it. We'll come in number two. We're going to back out our power now that we've reached our 1500 and we have our altitude and our airspeed. The power comes back. Four, seven, two, five, Delta, taking off runway three, five. Digging back in. East. He's now in front of me, but he's super, super wide and stupid. Yeah. So I've got a little bit less power than I need. I'm going to hold about 70 here so I can get a little bit of space. Pierce County Traffic System, uh, 1294 Foxtrot, left downwind, number 235 Pierce. Alright, I don't like being inside of him. Normally I would want to be um, outside of him, but he's just too far out and he's being insane. Yep. Uh, he's going to turn a long base. He's going to have a lot of time in front of me. If I need to, I'm going to power up and climb over the top of him. Right now I'm just going to hold this 70, 75. Okay. Maintaining my altitude and looking for anybody crossing midfield at pattern altitude, which is common. We are looking for 80 on the downwind, but it's not going to happen with this idiot. 1500, what I'm looking to hold here. I'm having a little bit of back pressure more than I need. I'd like to put in some throttle, but I don't need to. Yeah, he's, he's making his base turn. We've got plenty of distance now. I usually want to keep the runway between me and the next person. Okay. Not much distance. That's how I judge it. All right. Coming up between the numbers. I'm going to go ahead and pull back my car beat. I'm going to pull my power back to 1500. I'm in the flap range. I'm putting in one notch of flaps and I'm dropping my nose to this pitch right here so that I hold 80 knots. Okay. The idea is to go from transition from downwind straight into this without changing my airspeed at all, which I was at 75, so it kind of worked out. Yep. We're also looking for somebody else cutting in the base. I've seen that. Yep. Yeah. We're checking final just to make sure there's nobody on the approach, so it's a good time to look. And I'm looking to lose a couple hundred feet here. I can make my turn once he's past my wing inbound. Looking good here. I'm going to make my turn. I'm looking for 30 degrees of bank. I can still be holding the 80, but I want to end this turn with 70 knots. Okay. It'll be almost level flight, but not quite. I'm making sure I put in a little bit of power here because I'm no longer descending as much. And that brings me up to that 1500. Yeah. Here's my 70. It's almost level flight, but a little bit below. 
check, 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 it all looks good. I'm now deciding if I'm high or low. If I'm high, I can put in some flaps, but that's gonna drag on me on the turn. But I don't want that to happen. I am a little high, so I'm gonna put in one notch of flap. Pierce Sky Traffic says now 1294 Fox Trot, turn final, number two, full stop, 35 Pierce. Making my turn, holding 65 or so as I make this turn. Power is still at 1500 RPM. We'll be doing a short field landing. I'm going to put in one more notch of flaps here because I got the sight picture that I want. And I'm putting in one more notch there. And the last notch slows me down to 60. I try to get that done out here someplace. I'm still holding my 1500 RPMs. I'm looking to hold 60 knots right here, and I'm waiting for this to almost touch. I'm going to use the skid road right there before it because I want to go down a little bit steeper here. Okay. I'm going to land on that on 3.5. Okay. All right, right there's my sight picture. Boom, my power comes out. I'm pushing forward to hold 60. First kind of traffic, RV is clear of the runway. There's. Right here, I'm going to start to flare a little bit early. And now I'm not going to quite make it to my point, right? So I'm going to add a little bit of power right here just to drag it in. I'm on my point, maximum braking. Flaps will gently come up and it's simulated maximum braking. I don't need to maximum brake to make this taxiway. Yeah. So. Brake straight ahead, then make my turn. I do like to land on the stripes too, but I told you 3-5, <laughs> okay, so I had to drag it to 2 yeah. runway three, five. Now that I'm clear of the runway, uh, I come to a complete to stop. And I'm going to go ahead and put my pulse light off, my car beat in. My power goes up to 1,000. It's already there. I try to leave it there all the time. Flaps are coming gently up. After landing, checkway says complete. Cool. Very nice. Very smooth. So there's a lot of bullshit in the whole way through it, and they're going to remember 2% of what I said. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. And understand maybe, you know, 10% tops, yep. and then I have to, you know, you have to show them everything. But this is a, an advanced student would be doing short fields. 